We are here with the renowned Julia Hunter from Skin Therapy. She's the lady that I have talked about the most in terms of products because I first oh, found you. Thank you. I first found I'm you. Honored. After, well, it's it's you know we met once before this, so I'm so excited today. It's like I'm a little child. <laughs> um, and when I first came across Julia Hunter's products, my skin had been just not behaving great. I was trying many things and I went to a clinic where they had some of your products and right. this one started using them on me. And I thought, this is great. I love the fact they're clean, they're chirally correct, which we're gonna go into later. And it's a lot about how things will actually work in your body. Um, and that your philosophy, because she has a website, which is much better now. But for those of you who follow me, who went to see her website first, it was like, so old-fashioned and my website people are melting yeah. down right now as you say so old-fashioned <laughs> and um and there was these films from you and and what really drew me to you julia is i listened to your films talking about stuff right and i listened to your attitude towards skin and it was just this love affair you have with skin with great skin it you is. know there's some dermatologists who are dermatologists and they're mechanical exactly. but your passion is staggering right and I just love that and, right. and I think that's because well, and my a... passion to make people healthy uh, look as good as possible and it makes them happier and, and yes. for me at the end of the day I mean look what are we supposed to do for each other yeah but I mean that's a great gift it's... so yes I'm passionate about my gift she's passionate about her gift and it's also so we're going to all Juliana stuff today but also I'm here with Julia because you said to me, come along and have a treatment. Right. Because Julia also does laser treatment, different things. So then Cecily sent her some pictures of me up close and personal. All right, pictures of that little bit, you know. Which I my, needed to look yeah. and see what your what skin, like. figure out what's the best tool for your jaw. Because this is a more, this is more than skincare today. This is you with your dermatologist hat on right. of, uh, and some tools in your right. hand. And I've, you know, I'm generally really, comfortable with my face it's taken me probably until be. i'm 50. Yes. you know because yes. i had really bad skin till i was 30. i had right. chronic acne right. i did reacting every year i did a co2 laser the old-fashioned oh, one yeah. where you were kind of you know oh, when yeah, all where my, you're burned yeah, i mean you're burned for a month ladies oh, yeah. it's like not there's a co2 mild laser now but this was a different time and i remember i wouldn't go out the house for two weeks and i should have stayed in a month because i went round for walks yeah. in my local community yeah, yeah, and they yeah. were like Exactly. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'm so happy that my skin yeah. is smoother. Yeah. Um, so, so, you know, I then started really looking after my skin and getting into regimes. And then, you know, I discovered your regime, which is the only products that are consistently, because I try many products for people. Right. And there's some really old friends like Jan Marini's original exactly. siesta oh, cream, yeah. which we oh, love. Yeah. Um, and then yours are always in there, right. you know, and so... Well, I'm honored by that. Well, I no, worked just, hard. They are. When I created those products, it was all about being physiologically correct. In other words, what I was trying to create was the non-toxic pharmaceutical strength alternative. Okay? Yeah. So, and for people, because look, when I look at your How skin... How strong are your products? I want to know. Because well, I think they're a bit stronger than what I'd be able to buy in a shop. My products are professional strength, yeah. okay? And they're such professional strength that... The reason we're fastidious about giving people instructions mm -hmm. about only use this much and do this and here's how you mix it and here's how you start and advance, yeah. okay, yeah. is because they are so strong, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, how strong are they? They are the pharmaceutical strength alternative, yeah. non-toxic, yeah. okay? Now, do I put some pharmaceuticals in there? Do I put pharmaceutical Retin-A in there? Yeah. Yes. But I also made the cream that the Retin-A goes into, which is the only non-toxic cream how on the market. How do you define, because living in an age where lots of people say, is this clean, is this organic, you know, sometimes I think because everything is made of a chemical, right? if it's a natural chemical or not, the concept of saying is it organic can be blurred. So do you think it's more... Do you think it's better to be organic or to be clean? Because I think they're two different things. Okay, so organic is good, okay, but strength is what gives you the results yeah. that you're looking for, that makes people happy, that stops their acne, that decreases or, or you know, stop, yeah, stops their acne, decreases their rosacea, uh, uh, decreases or makes disappear their enlarged pores, yeah. uh, their eczema, their psoriasis, their brown spots, etc. okay? Yeah. So organic is good, okay? Organic is less toxic, but the problem with organic is 
something can be grown organically, mm -hmm. but the soil has not been tested to see is there DDT in it from years gone by? Yeah. Are there chemicals, you know, as you go down the highway and there's organic farms on either side of the highway and all these uh, fumes are spraying down on those whatever crops, those, those crops, crops yeah. or whatever yeah. uh, is growing there, okay? It's so organic, you've got to understand that organic is not the be all and end all. Strength is what matters now. Chemical is not bad if it's a non-toxic chemical. And yeah. one of the things that I put on the website was um, uh, ingredients to avoid, okay? For yeah. instance, sodium lauryl sulfate, some of the ureas, yeah. uh, uh, propylene glycol, the parabens, the ones that we know. But what's happening in the industry today is they've just changed a little bit the chemical structure of things that are toxic. Yeah. has a different name. People don't recognize them. They're yeah. still... Uh, what does toxic mean? Toxic yeah. means inflammatory. And if inflammation is the cause of all disease and aging, we brown spots, yeah. you want to avoid inflammation, okay? Yeah. But inflammation, uh, life is an inflammatory event. Stress is inflaming, yeah. okay? You are what you eat. Uh, you develop allergies as you go down the path of life or sensitivities. You have genetic switches that turn on that inflame you. So what I say to people, and what my philosophy was when I uh, formulated these products, okay, because I'm a little uh, formulator by nature, yeah. is, um, look, y you want the strength, okay, but you also do not want to spend your money and put on you day in and day out things that are increasing uh, your demise, basically, or okay. aging you because of the inflammation. So what kind of things? So would you chirally think you correct, best? for instance. Okay. okay. So why did I do chirally correct? Yeah. First of all, chirally correct are stronger. You've thrown out the fifty percent that's yeah. useless. Okay. That's in there, filling up space basically, and you only have so much space in a formula or in a pill. Yeah. And so you want to toss out what's useless or harmful, okay? Mm -hmm. There's a reason you use L-ascorbic acid or lipoic acid. I mean, there's a reason that you use L-lysine yeah. because those are the chirally, chemically correct bits, mm -hmm. okay? And what that means is that in on your cells, there are little receptors on the outside of every cell. And so when you present the body with our lipoic acid, it goes, oh, our <laughs> lipoic acid, okay? <laughs> I know what to do with that. And it turns on a good function and not a bad uh, function. Okay. Whereas if you present it with alpha lipoic acid, it goes, mm, yeah. you know, it, it has a moment yeah. where it goes, okay, well, what do I do with this? Yeah. Then it has to expend energy, which causes inflammation to a certain extent, yeah. to get rid of the 50% and to only then accept like letting into your house, okay, the, the somebody things. you know yeah. and not some stranger. Yeah. Uh, and so it'll let in the r okay. hope. So with the skin products, when you do that, with every ingredient, that's what gives people the results. Yeah. Okay, that, yeah. also with sourcing of ingredients nowadays, and this is what the huge issue is in today's world, mm -hmm. is most ingredients come from China. So, so if, every, just, I'm saying, if you're yeah. using a big brand where it's mass, so it's Kiehl's or it's Vichy or it's all these, mm -hmm. what percentage of active ingredients do you think women are really getting? 1% or less of what they're buying. Of what they're buying. So, mm -hmm. so the, the, the kind of, because I... Because they can't make you have, with products like that, those are mass market. Yeah. Um, they, you can't have, it's like when you go to the spa, they never use products that really make. Uh, yes, because they can't so many get a, who might have an a, allergy or, a a result. Yeah. I mean, they can't look. Your skin gets moisturized. It gets greased. Is what happens. Yeah. Okay, but it's not going to do anything that may make you red or may give you a little bit of peeling. Those are where active ingredients. Yeah. But those are the ingredients that give you the results. Okay. Those are the ingredients with your skin, which is thicker skin, which despite having CO two. Uh, which is just a controlled burn, just yeah. like they go in the forest and burn off uh, a I certain amount. I had a controlled amount. forest okay. burn on my face. Yeah, yeah. a controlled <laughs> burn, yeah. okay? Despite that, your skin still looks fabulous, yeah. and it's still thick, okay? 
So if you don't put active ingredients on your skin, then you're just wasting your time and money. Do you think that there is, a, because your products are expensive, and I know because you use the best active ingredients, but I have a lot of audience, I have some audience who can afford your things and buy them, mm -hmm. and I have some in my audience who can't, but they still really want to mm -hmm. do things well for their skin. So mm -hmm. there are these companies like The Ordinary, The Inky List, all these companies that put one singular ingredient mm -hmm. in their products and, and give you more of a knowledge of science, even though I think sometimes they confuse with science, mm -hmm. you know, the alpha arbutin. Okay, mm -hmm. well, what is that to the man and woman in the street? Right. Hard to understand. Yeah. Vitamin C, a bit easier yeah. to understand. But do you think those products work if people are, you know, thinking, I can't afford the, you know, whatever, 38 well, so to $200? It, it, let me just say that it, it, as increasingly, okay, um, my products, look, their products that are just nothing but marketing and no science which are in my price range now which and the reason my products cost what they cost mm -hmm. and I spent my money on what's in the bottle yeah. I didn't spend it on expensive I know. packaging I know. It's just the just worst get... shittiest packaging ever it's nothing's airtight they're like things you got off the shelf for 50 cents but the ingredients have gone in as being but 50 dollars worth but airtight yeah. okay is not what it's meant to be okay part of what we did with packaging it was based on a lot of years of experience of what worked for men, for teens, for women. Yeah. Because remember, skin is skin, and I'm treating skin, whether it be male skin, yeah. uh, teen skin, yeah. um, Any skin. Uh, yeah. you know, where, wherever you are on the path yeah. of life. And so a lot of this airless packaging is, again, marketing. You don't, it doesn't need to be airless. But doesn't, okay? I mean, a lot of people say to me, oh, Trini, that vitamin C has gone off when it's changed color. You know, well, if you real put some sense, moisture in there, then it okay? will. Yeah. It, and it doesn't go off. What happens is, it's just, look, the reason I use a powdered vitamin C yeah. is because it's a 95% L-ascorbic, full of glutathione, which is yeah. another major antioxidant. Yeah. And basically, um, if you get a little moisture in there, look, when you put it in your palm and you put it on, you're getting 95% yeah. L-ascorbic on your on skin. On your skin, I know, because okay. I rub it in here to make my cheeks shine with right. a tiny bit of serum. And when you, yeah. when you use a vitamin C that's in a liquid or a cream, it's a water-soluble vitamin. It's oxidized. So yeah. if it went in the bottle at 5%, airless or otherwise, it's degrading every minute. So your 5% okay. becomes probably zero percent and all you're left with is an acidic product okay so mine it doesn't go off you can't make look you could I mean, your powder can't go off you can't go yeah. off you can just people will get a little moisture in there and it'll turn a little orange yeah because it activated with liquid the vitamin C yeah. the vitamin C was then trying to do its thing and absorb okay yeah so maybe that little bit is not 95%, maybe it's now 90%, okay? Yeah. But still, it's the strongest vitamin C on the market, yeah. and it doesn't go off, it's just that it'll turn a little orange. Yeah. Somebody's and more watching. is not better. More when is not you're better. using, this is the other okay, thing. This I is need why, to hear this actually, because okay, I'm always is, more is better. Okay, How more is not better. better. <laughs> so more is better. More okay. is not because better. Because I am so that, I'm like, why use one when you can use two dots? Okay, but let me tell okay, you tell more me. is not yeah. better. Okay, because this is very important. I really need to hear this. Okay, more is not better because your receptors in your skin get saturated okay. and they can't accept more okay? okay so do you have some sitting in what's called the extracellular space which sitting there waiting to get in in other words all the doors are filled with people going through okay. with vitamin c yeah. going through okay yeah. so what happens is it just sits on the surface of the skin because the body can't absorb in more so when i say do that little spoonful that's all you need. And that's why those products, they last a lot longer yeah. because more is not better. Yeah. Because you're wasting your money then because it can't get in and do its thing. Okay, I'm gonna throw some myths at you because these are things lots of people will have heard and I just trust you here more than anyone else on these right. issues. So, there's thick skin and thin skin. When I was young, Julia, if you mm -hmm. had a thick skin, it meant you had a plump, peaches and creamy, mm -hmm. um, a black skin to me is a thick skin. Oh, yeah, thick skin. You know, and if you had a thin skin, you were kind of Scottish. Thin skin. Right, that was a kind of well, tradition. I've got thin skin. Okay, okay. So what? Because you, you got said thin skin. The, there's an upside and downside to okay. everything. Yeah. Okay. So thicker skin, gravity's got more to work on. There's weight. Okay. Oh, so so you can thicker skin. Tries. But the good news is, thicker skin 
um, has more collagen. Yeah. So it's if if you've got springy collagen, in other words, if you pick up your skin yeah. and it snaps back, yeah. you've got good thickly wound okay. collagen. I got to say my do. hands is not not as good as my face. No, but, but it's, you're, it's, you're, it's, look at, it it's still back immediately. springing back a bit. When you see people yeah. who it slowly yeah. goes back, there's some people who genetically have loosely wound collagen. They can have thick skin, gravity's working on it, then their skin is going to fall more, they're going to get jowls, because your skin ages in a comma. So marionette mouth, which many women and talk jowls. about marionette mouth, they hate and jowl. So we're, yeah. we're, I want to, we want five hours with her. <laughs> but I was telling my audience the other day that I always felt in terms of aesthetics for a woman looking in the mirror, you can see in doctors seeing that comma, yeah. that I think women either have a concern here or here. Oh yeah. Okay, so for me, I don't have a concern here because I did no. Botox since I was 35, Julia, yeah. for, because I was on telly yeah, and yeah, I didn't yeah, want yeah, my yeah, forehead yeah, yeah. to move. And the second yeah. thing was it didn't yeah. move. Yeah. But here around my mouth, where there's a thicker skin from acne scarring. And it's more vascular. And it's more, so what do you mean by vascular? In other words, that? look, you move your lips yes, all the it's time. More, yeah. Okay, so uh, for instance, when people use my peel, they'll say, oh, I peel a little bit around here. Yeah. Okay, now, even though it's called peel, it's not, you're not meant to peel, okay? Yeah. It's just melting the skin off your face. But because this is such a vascular area, it goes in there and it causes a more profound result. Okay. Well, you need a more profound result because, look, uh, people hold their stress in different places. Yeah, I mean, yeah, people age people. Yeah. genetically. Look at your parents, number one, okay? Did they get bags under their eyes, okay? Yeah. Uh, even Botox or no Botox, if you're meant to get bags, and this is thinner skin here, yeah. okay? So this skin is always, even in somebody who's got thicker skin, this skin is where always you're going to age faster, it takes longer to get a result. You have to do more uh, because uh, gravity, it doesn't have as much collagen mm -hmm. here. This has more collagen yeah. and people are gonna hold their stress somewhere. They're gonna hold it here, yeah. they're gonna hold it here, yeah. they're gonna hold it here, or they're gonna hold it here. And sometimes, look, we'll Botox people here, here, and people forget to Botox here, yeah. okay? Look, people purse more as they go down the path of life. Why do we get these lines here, okay? Yeah. Number one is our teeth are thinning, our gums are thinning, the muscles are thinning, the skin is thinning. It's yeah. not just about the skin, okay? Yeah. And I think teeth is really interesting and under, especially it's in England, okay? and especially too. in England, yeah. because we are just lazy about our teeth compared to our American mm -hmm. cousins. And mm -hmm. I know that for me, in terms of the structure of my mouth, a lot of you say, oh, did you have filler? And I had my teeth here yeah. enlarged, wow. so I had a very yeah. narrow bridge, and they put bonding here mm -hmm. because they were all cracking my teeth. So mm -hmm. this is all bonding, mm -hmm. but it did that also to my mouth. So mm -hmm. it, it pushed it out a bit, yeah. it widened it a bit, which for me I like. Mm -hmm. But tell me why. No, but teeth. that's very because look, if you look at people as they age. Uh, their mouth collapses, yes, it does. okay? Yeah. And you can't just put filler in people's mouths no. because then they get these big and not natural looking lips. Yeah. And what they're trying to do is compensate for their teeth thinning, yeah. okay? Yeah. And um, uh, so that's why a lot of that dentistry has become about reconstructing the mouth, yeah. which is very anti-aging. But you have to be careful because uh, look, the teeth, for health are imperative. The homeopaths, the great old European, German, and Austrian yeah. doctors yeah. showed this years ago, but embryologically, uh, there's a connection. There's a neural, a nerve connection that goes on forever, okay? The body's talking to, it, 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 uh, it talks to itself, okay? It's just like cells talk to themselves. I just put an ingredient that makes the cells in the skin talk to each other better, communicate yeah. better, freer communications, okay? It's just like um, giving the skin freer communication. I love this. I mean, it's, it's, it's so on its head that I love it yes. because it's very, I don't know how you feel, ladies, but I understand that. I want my skin to talk to itself well. I want my teeth to talk the to cells, the rest they of work the cells. Better. Uh, oftentimes, I have people who, for instance, are losing their hair, okay? It can be because they've got abscesses from root canals, okay? 
I have people who have Wait. rosacea, yeah. okay? Yeah. And it can be from certain tooth issues. So keeping your teeth and gums healthy it's, is imperative it's a huge thing. to yeah. slowing down the clock. I mean, look, from health comes beauty, okay? Yeah. And yeah, if I you're not healthy, yeah. you're, you're going to age yeah. more quickly. You're not going to be happy. You're not going to look good. You're not going to feel good. So you've got to look at the body as a whole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in order to win, okay, in order to slow down the clock, in order to, to have as good a skin as genetically is possible for yeah. you or technologically is possible yeah. for you, okay, you've got to consider your teeth equally. Right now we're discussing sugar, sugar. sir. Tell it's me. poison. Okay. Is what it all I mean, this is the worst thing because I am such a sugar addict, Julia. So yeah. I, I really need to hear from you why. I mean, I know why now. Even I lie in bed and I eat a feast chocolate ice cream and I feel the inflammation in my ankle. I know that seeing Erica Schwartz, she said to me, Trini, your pre diabetes level is quite high. My father had diabetes. Right. Okay, so I've got these warnings that I really need to listen to why I shouldn't have sugar. So Okay, so number one is this. When people have sugar cravings, usually their adrenals are low. They're stressed, okay? okay. And who isn't stressed in today's world? Yeah. But number two is, uh, one of the supplements that I made is called trichromium. And chromium, chromium. when your body mm. releases uh, insulin, mm. okay, uh, it needs chromium. Mm. If your chromium gets low, uh, then you crave more sugar, yep. okay? So I give people chromium, number one, to stop, to help stop the sugar cravings. Mm -hmm. Number two is uh, when people, uh, they need to have their hemoglobin A1C blood level done, mm -hmm. okay, never mind their fasting blood sugar, and when it's high, you need to be taking chromium, okay? The other thing is people should never go to bed and eat something sweet before you go to bed. The worst thing that you can do Yes. Every, night, uh, every night, dark uh, chocolate bar, um, jelly, and uh, uh, feast chocolate yeah. and ice listen, cream. I mean, what happens when we're stressed, our serotonin levels get low, and we crave sugar, yeah. okay? That's yeah. part and parcel of the issue. Yeah. And so, uh, but when you go to bed, and your sugar goes up because you're eating, what you're doing is, because remember, at night, what happens is, the body and the skin is repairing itself. The brain is clearing and repairing, okay? Yeah. So um, uh, when you uh, have go to bed with a high blood sugar, you're poisoning and wrinkling your skin all night long. The body has to deal with that. And also, this remember- This vanity, talk to my vanity yeah, head. Yeah, yes, yeah, talk yeah. to remember my vanity Remember that sugar, when you eat sugar, it turns to uh, cholesterol, and in some people, triglycerides. So you're running up I your know, cholesterol, my cholesterol and triglycerides. Which I always had really low, it's suddenly got. Okay. Uh, and yeah. so that's part and parcel of what's happening. The other thing is your sugar level goes straight up and you get a little bit more energetic. And at bedtime, that's not what you want to do. And then it plummets. Yeah. Okay. And that's when people get depressed. Uh, they, they feel bad. But most importantly, you are wrinkling your skin because your body hates high blood sugar. Okay. And what does it do? It attaches it to proteins, whether it be in the skin, yeah. in your organs. So you're so aging yourself proteins. internally and externally, yeah. mm -hmm. okay? And it can't get that sugar off, okay? Then it goes through your liver. What's happening to today's world, there's an epidemic of fatty liver, mm -hmm. okay? Because the liver, the body is fermenting because you're feeding the fungus, okay? and. Uh, look, we're all full of candida fungus in today's world. Yeah. You're feeding it. It ferments in your liver. So even if you don't drink, it's as if you're drinking a fifth of that. Yeah. So you're aging mm. yourself. You're poisoning your enzymes. And it doesn't taste that good. What you do instead is you have a piece, have a piece of apple, okay? I, I know it doesn't taste as good. I, I, trust me, I know, okay? Uh, but if you're going to have chocolate, Look, a lot of look, I have blood raw type. dark chocolate. Raw dark, okay. Yeah, I have raw is, dark chocolate. And the Halo darker bars, the delicious. better. I have okay. a raw dark chocolate every night like that. Okay, but you shouldn't have. You should have a piece. I know, but a piece. I mean, darling, I know, a I know, piece I know, is like I know, not enough. I, I mean, like, can I just say also, Julia, I take chromium with cinnamon. I take a supplement, chromium cinnamon. I mean, I right. don't take it regularly. I need to take it really. Okay, but the regularly. right dose, okay, yeah. is look. The lowest dose is 500 micrograms okay. per day. Yeah. The highest dose 
and some people require that, people who are diabetic, pre-diabetic, is you should take a thousand micrograms per day. Right, so so if you don't take the right dose, right. okay, you're not going to get the right effect because okay. supplements are just like medications. You've got to take the right amount. All right. You really believe supplements work, don't you? Supplements absolutely work, and I will tell you uh, to the point that, look, I, and I say this to people uh, energetically, okay, yeah. and that is if you want to prevent brown spots, if you want to prevent little you know, skin tags, yeah. if you want to slow down the clock, whether it be how well your brain works so you can stay in the game as long mm -hmm. as you want to work, okay? Yeah. Uh, if you want to slow that's down what the it clock is as far me. as wrinkles. I want to stay in the game for as long as I want to work. Yeah. And, and yeah. that's supplementation. That's yeah. antioxidants. More is better, but you've got to know what to take. I see people come in with bags of things. They're redundant. Yeah. Um, it, it's, I mean, look, what do you need to be taking? Uh, what's after CBD and melatonin as the strongest antioxidants, then comes glutathione, then comes vitamin C, then comes R-lipoic. The other thing you take for your blood sugar is R-lipoic. Lowers your blood sugar. Okay. And it's a massive antioxidant. Are you going to remember this to write all down? Yeah. yeah. So, um, okay, so, so basically sugar is, if you had to think of like the top three enemies of our well-being, Outwardly and inwardly. Health and beauty. Health and what sugar. would it be? It'd be and sugar, it, sugar, and sugar. And sugar. Yeah. Would it be sugar and sun? Sugar and gluten and sun. Sugar, gluten and sun. The three enemies. <laughs> the <laughs> things we all love. The first thing that it's better to eat the darker the fruits the better. Okay, what would that be? Blueberries expensive, raspberries expensive. Yeah. Okay. But so you eat apples. You don't eat the sweetest apples, okay? Mm. You eat pink ladies versus Fuji apples, okay? okay. And you've got fabulous apples over here that, um, uh, so you eat something and you eat the skin, okay? Um, uh, as well, you don't peel your apples, mm -hmm. okay? You eat, look, some people are allergic to Asian pears. You eat red pears rather than green pears. You eat fresh fruits. The darker the better. Yellow peaches are better than white peaches. Why? They're less sweet. It's running okay. up your sugar less. You eat the skin as well. You wash it, you eat the skin. Yeah. Okay? Because the the fiber is binding the sweet. But your right, tongue so gets the less, sweet. Yeah. Okay, but it's less damaging then because it's, it's coming less in. Damaging, okay? okay. For instance, at, after dinner when people always want a dessert, okay? What do you do to fool the brain? You have a mint tea. Okay, and then your brain is totally placated. It's about fooling your brain. Why is a mint tea fooling my brain? A mint tea, he is saying to me, where's the dark chocolate bar? Well, the mint tea satiates your brain. It satisfies that sweet craving, okay? But, so if you have a little piece of the dark chocolate, raw dark chocolate, mm -hmm. It's better than eating the whole bar. Listening to you, Julia, you know, this week I do feel I want to look at, let me try and have a week of sugar alternative um, eating. I think that would be a nice commitment. I'm going to make that commitment to myself because I'm just, I want the wake up call. Because also, Julia, this is, I just want, this yeah. is the thing for me. It's like when a lot of people, like a lot of people said to me the other day, because I started doing biodynamic hormones again, right. and they said, yeah. oh, what, what, you know, why do you, like, if you were fine before, because I was taking Sage Complex, Magnolia, yeah, 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 Rodeo yeah. Life, yeah. and things like that. Why yeah. do you need to do it? You know, And I was like, because I don't want my body to tell me when I don't have any more energy anymore. Right. I want to tell my body when I don't need to use it anymore. Right. You know, And I kind of start a new business. I'm 55 yeah. yeah. now, yeah. but I start at 50. I want to feel when have that energy of a 50 year old, you know, that right. I, well, not even to say what energy, but I just have that limitless so in the energy game. You can that stay I'm in, in the game. game and I yeah. want to be in the game. And that, that's what fuels right. my life. It's now we're looking at me, at me and we're looking at your, your sort of relationship and you have with, with different treatments you do from the body in your right. role purely as a clinical right. dermatologist of laser, etc. So looking at areas, you know, of, if, if I say to you, I mean, you could say to me which areas you think I, I need to do some work. Well, but number one is, what I say to people is, I look at the whole face and, you know, I look at the asymmetries. I look at what I see yeah. as uh, the areas that are uh, your cross to bear, as I like yeah. to say, okay? And genetically how you're aging, mm -hmm. okay? And 
Uh, but then, uh, the first thing you always say to people is, what bothers you the most? Yeah. Okay. I usually give people a mirror yeah. and say, okay. okay, what do you hate? Okay. So I'll tell you what I probably think is that it's more lower than upper. And because I had acne from 13 to 30, so I had acne for 13 years. Yeah. And I pick my spots a lot. Close up and personal on here, I have what I call pebble chin. It's thick skin. So it was slightly primarily, separated. your acne was primarily around your chin around here and a little bit here so <gasps> this, i this, love this is like the map i want to put on the site this is excellent it's, it's on my site okay it's this there, is okay. fantastic so okay you're gonna so tell basically us. can you see this you have, so. um uh when you have issues in different places on your face it helps us know what's inflamed so you were primarily down here yeah. your kidneys were inflamed you were really inflamed and yeah. genetically uh Usually, when people are allergic to gluten, etc., yeah. you were doing yeah. all the gluten and sugar. Okay, yeah. your liver, your liver. When you see people who have on their cheeks all sorts of acne, pimples, rosacea, yeah. da da da, yeah. their liver's inflamed. That's okay. Chloe has had a bit. Yeah, I mean, I'm just talking about all the people I know. Like Lila, my daughter has it all on her forehead. Okay, that means her gut's inflamed. That's the mm. small intestine. Okay. So she's eating foods that she's allergic she's, to yeah. or sensitive to. Yeah. Okay. The skin is a window to what's going on on the inside. Yeah. Okay. So as things pass out of the body, mm -hmm. the skin gets inflamed in certain areas. Okay. So it gives you insight into what the problem is. So if you're, for instance, eating something that you're allergic to, your gut's inflamed, you're inflaming your gut. All those inflammatory chemicals are emitted by the immune system. Mm -hmm. They go out, they travel all around the body. And how are they getting out? They're either getting out through your bowel movements yeah. or through your urine, okay, or both. Mm -hmm. And you breathe them off to a certain extent. You sweat them out. How you handle things is genetically determined, okay? Yeah. I love that digression because that is just fascinating. So I love that. Really, really interesting. Going back to now residue so i picked a lot i created scar tissue mm -hmm. and then i did a co2 laser um to burn it off and it did to an extent because it went from that to sort of softened mm -hmm. um and around my mouth probably because as you say i articulate a lot and maybe the depth and here. you may hold your stress here because i probably, noticed in your photos yeah, yeah. okay the first thing i noticed in your photos is that you had little lines here and when i was taking your pictures little lines here. One of the things that people do is they hold their stress here. We purse more purse, as purse. we go down I'm the pursing. path of life. I'm okay? pursing more as I go down the path yeah, of life. It's because pursing, you pursing. get, you yeah, get, I, yeah. um, uh, this is where people hold their stress. So I need to be doing And that. you Good. wake up. Well, 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 the other thing is, I tell people, look, I've got all my patients, uh, uh, and I'm sure everybody thinks that they're a lunatic and I'm a lunatic, but I say to them, look, what is the antithesis of doing that? When you're driving down the road, okay, when you're walking down the street, smile. Okay, number one, it's better. Yeah. People think you're a happier person. That yeah. It makes the world a better place. But also, what is it? You're anti-wrinkling. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. it's an easy thing I to know. do. The other thing that's really good for that is microcurrent. Find somebody in your neighborhood who does microcurrent. Yeah, I did, okay? I did fractionated yeah. microcurrent. Yeah. I did that two and a bit weeks ago. Yeah. Um, and she did that on me. Yeah. So she said if you do that once a month, that could help a bit. Right. A bit. Right. Well, so microcurrent. Well, so, because it's pulling this out. Okay. Yeah. What is, what at the end of the day do we do for this? Because at the end of the day, people yeah. want this gone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we put Botox here. Do you? Okay. Okay. Or... We put Botox here. I okay. have had Botox here with drop yeah. tea bag. You put like, like, well, I've had it here, like that. Yeah. This, this little scarring I've got, is he tried something new where he got some peptides and he injected mm -hmm. them very deep into mm -hmm. my lines mm -hmm. to build the proteins back again. Mm -hmm. So there, I think that the little scar... But those peptides last for a millisecond, do you think? Okay. I have people using that peel around here. So okay. the, the, the Because you want to peel, peel yeah. them down yeah. and off. Retin-A, peel them down yeah. and off, mm -hmm. okay? Because at the end of the day, especially with skin like yours, that's thicker, you need more peeling, yeah, okay? Yeah, I do, because I've got a special skin, Julia, I can take anything. I've done your peel, this is how I do your peel. So I put your peel on, I do microneedling. Every night. Um, I haven't recently, but like okay, but when I, microneedle yeah. first. 
Yes, but I, sorry, yeah. I microneedle, I yeah. peel, I microneedle, I peel, I do two, two doubling up. So yeah. I do microneedle first, clean skin, yeah. maximal cleanser, microneedle, then I put on the peel. Yeah. Right. And then it tingles and a bit. Put, yeah, and put on a channels. couple of layers, like three layers, yeah, okay? Because okay? basically more is better, and I can't make it any stronger and put it on the market. Yeah, okay. uh, right. And so, but if you put on more layers, it will uh, it's be stronger. Yeah. Yeah. There okay. is where more is better okay. if your skin will tolerate it, yeah. yeah. okay? So that's a kind of that's a kind of cosmetic at home solution, and but then the vitamin A plus because the reason you want to use, uh, and certainly at your age you should be using retin A. Okay? I mean, should I use a tretinoin? Should I you use a prescription tretinoin? You should use a prescription tretinoin if you really want to be doing retinol properly. Is the solution to you that you go to your doctor and you say, "Can I have a prescription for some tretinoin, which is vitamin A?" There comes yeah. a point. Okay, so look. My vitamin A plus that I made yeah. is the skin reacts to it like half percent tretinoin. Okay, oh, it's right, stabilized. Right. Yeah. And I have people using three squirts every night. They have to work up to that yeah. because they'll peel like yeah. with anything. Okay. And it's full of niacinamide, anti-inflammatory, yeah. really good for um, yeah. uh, any sort of uh, pimples, whatever. Yeah. Okay. And uh, for acne, it helps stop the production of pimples, okay? It makes it really hard. Yeah. Because the reason you use a retinol, or, and then do they go to the doctor? Look, once you get to be 40, 45, yeah. like yeah. what age should you use a retinol? Because I yeah. used retinol, I used a vitamin A cream, a tretinoid, yeah. when I was 19, it was a gel, like different, but yeah. stronger, yeah. to help with acne. Because yeah. when you said it stops acne, it preventing, makes it hard cleans out the sebaceous glands, yeah. and it, it does it. Yeah. So, because um, it's pushing the skin off the body. It penetrates more deeply. The reason yeah. you use that is uh, it penetrates more deeply and you want to treat, I wish I had my skin chart, uh, you want to treat the whole level, the whole thickness of yeah, the skin as much as you possibly can. Everything. Okay, so uh, a retinol, a strong retinol, okay, but Retin-A, tretinoin, uh, will penetrate more deeply and what it does is it forces new collagen production. It's a push peel. It pushes the skin mm -hmm. off, mm -hmm. okay, which helps prevent skin cancers, helps get rid of old damage, scarring. Somebody yeah. asked a question H about spots. scarring, H okay, spots. age spots, yeah. etc. You've got to push it off as well as peel it off from the surface, as well as break it up with a vitamin C. Uh, some of the ingredients that I have in there that are, you know, heat seeking missiles to brown spots. Yeah. You, but you've got to push it off as well. So I have people start, look, you, you have to look at people's skin, but overall, if you're 45, you should be using yeah. a, a tretinoin, a I prescription use strength. I use it in the summer. Do you think that's all right? No problem. If yeah. you're using, especially, you want to use one that's not inflammatory from yeah. my point yeah, of yeah, view, yeah. okay, non-toxic, non-inflammatory. Um, and it's when people overuse it that they yeah. thin their skin, okay? So yeah. my patients use it, uh, look, I'm, I put people, I'm using my vitamin A plus because it, the skin reacts to it like half percent, okay? And night then regeneration. I add, uh, no, that's the vitamin A plus, okay? It, now, my night regeneration has so some retinol in it. My peel has some retinol yeah. in it. So I put, layers, I put retinol in layers, a lot yeah. of things because more is better yeah. to a certain extent, okay? Yeah. Uh, but then... When I add tretinoin, I add a 1% tretinoin, okay? Yeah. Because my patient's already using enough that they've worked up to it. Okay? Yeah. It's like exercise. You don't just start running the marathon. Yeah. You've got to train to run the marathon. Your skin has to train, okay? Yeah. And so then I put them on, I may start them on 1% every fifth night, mm -hmm. okay? Because they, they don't want to peel either, okay? Yeah. They don't want to be red inflamed or peel. Yeah. So I'll start them every fifth night for three weeks, two, three weeks, yeah. okay? Then I work them up to every fourth night. And then for skin like yours, in the summertime, I keep you at every fourth night. Okay, because okay. so I don't want also, I think when people are on these regimes, they sometimes, you know, sometimes if you start retinol for the first time, I think after eight weeks, if you're doing that kind of tretinoin mm -hmm. thing, you might sort of think, oh, I'm gonna give up because you feel your skin is dry and that's why I love using your emu oil. Mm -hmm. But do you think that there's a breakthrough and then after that, you know, women skin, if they just keep at it, keep at it, keep at it, they're not gonna have that again and their skin well, will be used to it. Well, if you start slowly, yeah. you won't have that period, yeah. okay? So that and everyone what I have to, people do is they put 
all their skin products on one, and then the tretinoin's the last product to yeah. apply. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's 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 basically uh, training, just like you were training for running the marathon yeah. or whatever sort of yeah. exercise. Okay. You work up to it, but instead of putting it on and peeling and going through all the misery. And also instead of putting it, it on slowly. totally raw, clean skin right. is what you're saying. Right. Do you think also, because I, I know what I believe you in this, but I want to ask, first. Yeah, but I want to know what you think. Because I do vitamin C morning and night. Mm-hmm. But I will do vitamin C at night and then I'll do retinol. Okay, so truly, uh, you should only use vitamin C in the daytime. In the okay. And the reason is because the body reacts to different ingredients at different times of the day, okay? Oh, okay. So nighttime is repair. So, so for instance, the my yeah. serum in the daytime is made to feed the skin what it needs, just yeah. like construction workers on a construction site, okay? Yeah. At night, the night regeneration is the nighttime serum yeah. and it's meant to feed the skin uh, everything it needs to repair. Yeah. And the reason you use a retinol at night, number one, retinol is inactivated and has a bad chemical reaction with the sun, but number two is it's encouraging better repair. Yeah, so more yeah, night, energetic more, repair. More, your body is more it's using that uh, that and, uh, signal better. Right. Yeah. And so mm-hmm. at, in the daytime, the skin's making collagen. Okay. So you're feeding vitamin C to the skin because it uses vitamin C to, to make collagen. Make collagen. It, it's yeah. making hay while the grass is high. It forces more yeah. collagen production. Yeah. But at night. It's only an antibiotic. Mm-hmm. So the only people I have use my vitamin C at night, okay, are the people who have acne or uh, something that needs an antibiotic because I use that as my antibiotic. There you do. Because remember, vitamin C, and this is why with people who have rosacea, you've got to calm the skin first. The skin's inflamed. Mm-hmm. Uh, vitamin C is acidic on the surface of the skin, but that it alkalizes, alkalizes when it goes yeah, in. Yeah. So if your Quite skin is already yeah. inflamed, and you put vitamin C on before you calm it and heal it. It'll aggravate it at first, okay? So you have to heal it at first. Mm-hmm. I mean, look, uh, why do you not use inflammatory chemicals? It, it uh, violates uh, the barrier of the skin. The skin is meant to be acidic on the surface because bacteria, viruses, and fungus are hitting our skin all the time. And so it's what keeps us from getting, yeah. things from getting in, keeps us from getting flesh eating yeah. bacteria, da da da. Uh, and yeah. so, uh, at night, you want to use things that are uh, forcing. You don't want to. You don't want to make the skin run the marathon at night. Yeah. And yeah. that's what vitamin C does. Yeah. I mean, I have one I use at night, but then I actually don't use yours. DCL vitamin mm-hmm. C night booster. Mm-hmm. So I do use that one at night mm-hmm. if I'm doing a night one. But I if it's a liquid or cream, it's it's, it's don't have that much. It's yeah, it's exposing it's, your skin to the sun. Yeah, probably. probably I mean, it's thirty percent. It's quite a good one. I have to say, yeah. they're really interesting. The formulators. And right. I spoke to actually I have the right. formulator for a while. But I I generally am vitamin C in the morning. I mean, yeah. a lot of people somehow say vitamin C is only at night. So I really try and say that I really uh, advocate it in the morning. It's only okay, darling. We should only be in the daytime. Right. Okay. So, so to go back, now, what yeah. do we do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So look. we may need to pause to save in a moment. Oh, are we good? Yeah. Well, we're going to have a quick pause and save moment. Are people still interested to stay on? Okay, <laughs> fine. Pause and save. <laughs> the marathon. We have been going literally like a steam engine for probably an hour and a half. It's 11.30, two hours. Yeah. And we've discussed sugar, inflammation, vitamin C, retinol, rosacea, water, rosacea um, constipation, menopause, Ingredients. hair loss, everything. So do watch the previous ones. Julia Hunter is a holistic dermatologist who's got phenomenal products and an amazing way that she deals with us um, internally and uh, on the skin. And I love that approach. So we are at a stage now where it's um, having discussed- It's about you. Things. It's about me and it's right. about what we will be doing. So I think we can all look in a mirror, and Julie said to me, look in a mirror, and I think probably the little scarring around here and, um, and my line. So we've discussed about the products of hers that I used on and off, and now I'm gonna actually have a month intense just yours because I've been testing so many things so I always have to give them enough time to test them. So I'm definitely going to commit to that. But what else can we do today? Okay, so also for lines, uh, look, everybody has tried desperately to fill them in. The point is, what you want to do is um, stop the, stop, if you stop stop the movement, okay, that's Botox, okay? Look, you you try to, to stop the production of them by 
uh, stimulating your skin to work at a more youthful level. And remember, that's not just the outside of your skin, that's also the inside, okay? Yeah. Because if you're not healthy inside, uh, these are gonna get worse, your skin is thinning, because yeah. as we go down the path of life, what is the biggest problem? Our skin thins. Yeah. You're starting with thicker skin, better thing, okay? Yeah. Uh, people like me start with thinner skin, we begin to look like skeletons, okay? You keep the volume, the volume is the key, okay? okay. And so, but um, still what happens is you're making all this movement, your skin can't keep up with the production, the vitamin yeah. C, the retin-A, all yeah. those sort of things, tretinoin, da da da, all those things are making it better. Then what you go to is you're trying to exfoliate them off as yeah. well on the surface, yeah. okay? Then what you have to go to is stronger things, and that's Botox or technology. Okay. okay. Let's talk technology. I've done Botox here on these lines, mm -hmm. like every probably every six months, mm -hmm. because I have Botox probably every five. No, I probably have Botox every six months now. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I don't like to have it too much because I think yeah. it, I don't want my skin to have to get used to it. Yeah. Um, so what else when you say technology? Okay. So basically, then what you have to do is. Um, we don't call them lasers anymore because they're not really lasers because of the source. Most really good technology has a radio frequency source, okay? okay. So what you do, what I'm doing, okay, yeah. and as far as what's out there, uh, look, the, the, um, uh, the, the microneedling is really good yeah, because you're I do forcing all the time. your growth yeah. factors, yeah. okay? And I do my being twice a week. Right, and then uh, I go, to a laser like the Morpheus laser, yeah. okay, which basically has tips that have uh, make little holes and discharge a massive amount of energy into the skin, yeah. okay, and it just forces new collagen production in such a monumental way, okay, okay that um, uh, it it rids these lines now. How many treatments? You well, you, with, with Morpheus. Morpheus is what we call a big boy laser. Yeah. In other words, yeah. uh, you've got to numb people. Um, uh, you do one treatment, and uh, maybe you do one treatment every couple of years. Okay. okay? Yeah. Um, it depends on how people do do it. Technology is only as good as the the, the, the fastidiousness yeah. of the Some people who do yeah. it. Okay. Um, the other thing that we're doing which is uh, available in the UK, um, uh, just really coming into the US, uh, which came out of Brazil, is carbon dioxide that you blow underneath the skin. Okay, yeah, why do you do that? that? I want to understand okay. that. Has so anyone heard of this carbon dioxide? So, so you're taking carbio... Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Okay. So the same thing they used as the source to burn off your skin when yeah. you were younger, okay? Yeah. Um, basically, it's the same gas that you're blowing out of your lungs. Yeah. Okay. That as you breathe in, look, a certain amount of the air is carbon dioxide. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, um, what happens is uh, you blow it underneath the skin. And the reason you do it, Brazilians started doing it uh, probably 10 plus years ago uh, because it helps get rid of cellulite. There's a reason they look so good in those yeah. little uh, bikinis. And, but it turns on the stem cells. Okay, it forces because it causes a massive vasodilation. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. and it's great for rosacea. P.S. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. um, uh, and you blow it underneath the skin, and a lot. That's usually step one that we'll do. Do you have that today? Yeah, I've got it. I can do it. Oh my God! Really? Okay. And yeah. does it show straight away? So it takes a good week yeah. for it to kick in. And all of a sudden, your skin gets this lovely um, uh, glow, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, the sheen, basically. What's the um, downside? The, the only downside is when you blow it in, first it feels hot, feels cold. You feel pressure, okay? Because you're blowing CO2 in there. Yeah. So it blows it up for a second. Like, for instance, if I go around and do people's whole face and neck, okay, uh, as it blows uh, around your eye, you 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 see the eye the eyelid blow up okay, okay. it 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 uh, it swells up All right. but only for like a minute okay, okay? and it's yeah. pressure when it goes when you're doing the cheeks it'll go into here and you feel this pressure some people you can blow them up like the Michelin man and they don't say a word 
other people, it bothers them, okay? But I do it uh, for the neck, for tightening the neck. Yeah. I mean, part of your issue is like everybody. Yeah. Yeah. The platysma, yeah. this tiny little, yeah. little muscle, okay, yeah. which is just, it's woven into the skin. It's just little muscle fibers yeah. woven into the skin. Okay, it starts to fail. That's genetically determined. I mean, and I do some do A E I O U, and that yeah. U is that muscle. Yeah. U, isn't yeah. it? U. I yeah. taught, tell you all to do this, ladies. But like, it is the simplest thing, yeah. and some of them might make you more liney. But I feel that the these all these muscles are holding because everything this up here. Floor a, 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 of a, a, your mouth, you, just you, like your you. pelvis falls and your bladder starts to fall out. Da da da. Okay this uh, floor of your mouth starts to fall so you don't have, exactly, so you don't have the, um, the support, uh, the support yeah. and it starts to fall. This sling that's underneath your tongue, yeah. okay, starts to fall. It's just a muscle. It's, but we can't uh, weight lift that muscle, which is why I'm a microcurrent. I, I'm a great fan of microcurrent yeah. because what is it doing? It's helping to tighten that. The A E I O U yeah. is doing the same thing, okay? Yeah. But the other thing it's doing, if you notice when you do it, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. is the strong so muscles yeah. of the, yeah. it's strengthening those. those yeah. And uh, the reason we see those as we go down the path of life versus when we're younger is because our skin is thinning. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And so, um, I mean, look, you don't see them, you've got thick skin. But you start to see this yeah, in everybody. Yeah. Plus, you have a big vein that comes down here, yeah. and it's darker. It's just like people start to talk about the dark spots around their eyes. Yeah. You've got a big vein that yeah. runs down here, yeah. okay? Right alongside that. So um, uh, that makes it appear worse than a lot of times okay. it generally is. Okay, what else are we doing for that? So for this, products. You know, internal maintenance products. of my products and my Look, micronutrients. The other thing that I put on people's in the vein of your hormones yeah. is I put estriol, estriol, estriol as I you call estriol. it. Okay. You put it on the face. Okay, so I put it here on the face. Uh, it plumps up your skin yeah. to the point that um, uh, it in, in a lot of people they're so deficient in estriol, uh, and estriol is the estrogen of young women. Yeah. So it plops up your skin some. I have yeah. my patients using it, look, if they have dry vagina, I have them putting it in their vagina to what, plump the it up. The the estriol, okay? okay? Because it, it, it makes uh, lubrication again, okay? Yeah. Yeah. And then they're putting it on their skin one day, they're putting it in their vagina one day. Dry okay? vagina, can anyone identify? Yeah, right, dry vagina, okay? A lot of people have it. Mm -hmm. um, and so, um, uh, so estriol helps these too, yeah. okay? Um, then comes technology. CO2 helps, yep. okay? Uh, and then we go to something like Morpheus, okay? Do you have Morpheus, Morpheus here? is the strongest one. I don't, when I come back, I'll have it here, okay? When are you coming back? Uh, I'm coming back in November. Okay, so we need um, to try a Morpheus moment, don't we, ladies? So what would Morpheus, Morpheus do? It's more long-term. So Morpheus, first of all, it's like, it's like, maximal strength of micro needling because okay. micro needling you're just making little holes yeah but you can't hurt yourself enough to really get, get the Morpheus has a tip that it it's all you know the technology is very sophisticated it discharges into the skin the tip which yeah. is going much more deeply and then it discharges this huge amount of energy just a wave of energy yeah. which damages the collagen okay and forces a massive amount of new collagen production. Yeah. So it's going to revolumize your yeah. skin. Okay? Whereas the carbon dioxide one that we're going to it's do just now. Thin it, the carbon dioxide, the one you had, thins the skin because it's controlled. <coughs> no, the one but you're the suggesting one, today. It turns on the, it's, it's a stronger, so versus skin products or microneedling, it's just a stronger um, um, production of collagen and it's turning on those stem cells because okay. your stem cells are trying to retire just like the rest of your body and what you've got to do whether it be with hormones supplements exercise you've got to you've keep got working to thyroid yeah you've got growth hormone you've got to keep them working yeah. and making yeah. daughter stem cells yeah okay? and make them believe that they're still in their working element of their life Absolutely. it's tricking them in it yes you've it. got to keep them working okay. okay now the other thing you can do because 
look, when people come in, I say, okay, we have to think about downtime day to day. Yeah. Okay. With CO2, there's no downtime except that, okay, look, when I blow it around your eyes, do your eyes stay a little bit swollen for some people 24 hours? Okay. You won't notice it. Yeah. Other people won't notice it, but you'll notice it a little bit, yeah. okay? And you can just put it in certain places. Yeah. The other thing I do, and when I was looking at your photos, is look, we also, we always want to be anti-gravity, yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. one of the things that I do, and you may have had it done at the place where we met before, yeah. is the Forma laser, okay? The Forma laser is no downtime, yeah. but it's discharging, if you do it correctly, a massive amount of energy into the skin. It shrinks up the existing collagen, yeah. and you've got more collagen because you have thicker skin, and, um, um, it's so going it to force new collagen. It lifts, tightens. And one of the reasons I like to do it is I like to tighten around the eyes. I yeah. like to pull this up. I like to pull everything up. Yeah. Okay. You can do it with CO2. A lot of times what we'll do um, is because look, people come to me and they want to get a lot done at one time. A lot of times is uh, we'll blow CO2 in there and then do the form of laser yeah. at the same time. Okay. okay. Takes a long time. Now, there are people who are doing form of laser who they do it for an hour, an hour, in my opinion, remember art, sci uh, medicine's an art as well as a science, and I'm all about maximal strength, yeah. and so when we do it, look, it takes us three hours to do your face, eyelids, and neck, okay? okay. Uh, um, it doesn't hurt, it's just goop, you know, you have to yeah. uh, go around your entire face, da-da-da, yeah. okay? okay. Uh, but it pulls everything up. Okay. Uh, the CO2, if you've never done it, okay, How's your, how are you with, uh, when people do things to you? Downtime is, is really low. Really no, but low. as far as not downtime, but how do you tolerate things? Oh, uh, my, my pain threshold? Yeah. I have an incredible vanity. So my pain threshold is it's really high. high. Yeah. I mean, sometimes people don't use Okay, so cream. with CO2, okay, uh, uh, you basically, it's a tiny little meso needle yeah. that you just, you put it in Fine. and look, as far as for hair loss, yeah. one of the best things for hair loss now is CO2. We're blowing it in We're going to do it. We're going to do that All today. Can we time. do that? Okay, fine. We need to get started now. Okay. So what I'm going to say is this, that I just want to, to finish off this segment okay. say that I think what I, what I love most about you, there's many things yeah. I love about you, Julia, but what I love most about you is that we have some people who are just beginning to go to the local booths yeah. and just get a skincare routine. We have some people who do a tremendous amount of things. And I probably sit in that I try a tremendous amount of things. Right. But, you know, some people who join the channel later might say, yeah, but, you know, if you do all these laser treatments and stuff, all the skincare you talk about is, 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 like, irrelevant. And I'm, like, the most important thing I can do that I've ever done is that I've had such a stringent, strict daily skincare routine. Irrelevant of the laser, irrelevant of all those lovely things. Very important. Things. Every day. And I, and I think that what I... What I really value in how we talk today is, is the kind of daily holding up of your skin is so influenced by what you eat and by the kind of ingredients that's in your skincare. Separate to that, but as an add-on, is laser treatment, are other things that if you feel my budget allows it and I want to do more, they're available to you. But if you just and do- And different price ranges. And different price ranges. Yeah. And if you just do the, the, the eating better, the right supplements and the right ingredients on your skin, whoever you're going to, it's even just listening to what Julie's been talking about, it's about, really looking at ingredients lists and saying how pure is that vitamin C and, and you know, what's it diluted in and just becoming more aware of what you're putting on your skin. And we discussed at the very, very beginning about organic versus clean and chirally correct. So that was a really great, interesting conversation at the very beginning. We've learned tremendous amounts today and um, I just want to thank you anyway so pleasure. much. Um, and I love and, to take uh, And it was really, I think we've learned <laughs> to be a good tremendous consumers. amount. I mean, yeah. because I, I hate to see people's trust betrayed. I know, and it's it's you know there's a lot of in the beauty industry. There's so much. There's a high use of words, and a word mm -hmm. I, I I particularly dislike is anti-aging right. because I kind of, you know, I feel that I don't want to be defined by my age. That's the most important thing. I don't Absolutely. want to be defined by my age, and I want to have the energy that I need. So I like. And you don't have yeah. to be defined by yeah. your age. I mean, I tell people, but by say, saying, oh, I've just like turned anti-aging, I'm saying like anti-aging, it's like, 
I find it slightly insulting. Like when we were writing about some of our products and somebody had written a copy anti aging I said, take it out. That's right. Like, no, SPF is, yeah, it's anti, but SPF is just protective. It's an environmental shield. It's an environmental it's shield. It's what it is. Okay. So we're going to go, and the next moment, if you do want to watch the next film, is I'm going to be having the CO2, no, I'm going to be having the carbon. CO2. Uh, I'm going to carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide around here and wherever else. Bye.